we go to transformation. That, uh, don't graph, then transformation. Because uh, this one also quite important. Yeah, because they join together with the topic called uh, variation, is it? Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, we have three different graphs normally we draw in SPM. Uh, histogram. Okay. Normally we use the boundary. Okay. In the Malay, they call Sambadan, Bawa, and Atas. Or in English, they call upper boundary and lower boundary. Okay? Yeah, I, uh, some students tell me their school teacher say can use midpoint. Yeah, but normally I use boundary. La. Later I will teach you how to use the lower bound and upper bound. Okay? Next one, frequency polygon. Pay attention, uh, in the, the vertical exit is the frequency. Frequency, tapi, but... This one is a cumulative frequency. Kekerapan longkakan, longkokkan. Okay. And all are using boundary except this one. X exit, guna titik tengah, midpoint. We will use midpoint for the X exit. But for other things, this one we use boundary on the X exit. This one we use upper boundary. Or we call Sembadan atas. Okay. And ini tak boleh guna parisan. Uh, Cannot use a ruler freehand. Yeah, I believe some students can buy the curved ruler if you want to. Except this one, all other thing must use a ruler. Okay. So let's go into some question. Hey, eh? why like that one? <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay, there's no graph paper uh, because some students just have feedback. No graph paper for Lucas Khan. We're not going to draw together here, but I will teach you how to draw. Okay? Alright. Okay, this one is a mass of the durian uh, in kg. So it's purchased by 30 customer. So 30 ini, kita tahu adalah jum lah, kekerapan kan? It's a total frequency. If you not believe me, use a calculator to type it. You will get 30. Ini adalah frequency. 3, 0. Okay. Uh, for, for this part, use a graph provider. Da, 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 da. 2 to 5 kg. Da, 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 okay, you want us to draw histogram. Now, there's few things quite confused to students. Kenapa sini? Okay, you see, they say 2 cm to 5 kg on the horizontal exit. 2 cm for a customer on the vertical. Uh, I think some typing error lah, 2 cm to something they don't say. Kenapa ini dia, they say 5, but here, if you minus, it's not 5, it's 4. Why? When you draw that time, you don't see 5. Where's the 5 come from? Yes, correct. Because this 5 is following the boundary. You can see my histogram like this, isn't it? Ini adalah sembadan bawah dan sembadan atas. This is lower boundary and upper boundary. How to find boundary for this one? Lower boundary, we will minus 0 0.5. Kita akan tolak 0 0.5 kan? Ini tambah 0 0.5. So if I do, this is 19.5. This is 14.5. Now, tuber, you try to minus them. Tuber tolak dia. Ini tolak ini. This one minus this one. Do you get 5? This is the reason why they say 2 cm to 5 kg. So here, this is normally what I will write. I will write 14.5 to 19.5. Then the next one, this one minus 0 0.5, right? Plus 0 0.5, right? Then I can use back the 19.5. Do you see? I use back the 19.5 and then I add another one. And here I'm going to write 24.5. Do you see that? 
lower bow, upper bow. Sembanan bawah, sembanan atas. Then the next one, sembanan bawah, sembanan atas. Then I continue. Do you see that? We keep on use the boundary because from 14.5 to 19.5. Do you see? 14.5 to 19.5. And then next one, 19.5 to 24.5. And so on. So, you know how to find all the boundary, right? So this one, I can help, help you one more. Like this. Okay. Then you will just draw accordingly. If they say it's five, right, every two centimeter, you can start, leave two centimeter here. Then we start here. Like, here is one. Then here you got two and so on. Uh. The width must be the same. Uh. Okay, my drawing is very bad. Uh. Uh, yeah, it should be the same. Okay, then the next one is three and so on. Okay, so drawing this one is quite easy. Make sure your exit is correct. So ini is sambadan. This one is frequency. Frequency we follow here. Okay? Okay, if today you want to use midpoint, yes, you can. Ini tama ini bagi dua, tapi midpoint kena tulis di middle. You're right at the middle. Midpoint. Do you see? You're right at the middle of the histogram. Then only here, the gap here is 5 cm. But not recommend you to do midpoint in histogram. Guna sembadan atas dan bawah. Cool? Know how to find, right? Yeah, but I want to teach you the second one. What shapes do you have for histogram? We have the skew left, skew right. And then we have bell shapes. And last one, uniform. I think I wrote it somewhere, yeah, here. Okay, long thing is a bell shape, so it looks like this. So that means your histogram must look like this. Lah. Do you see that? This one we call long thing. So it's a bell shape. If this one is a uniform shape. So seragam is all about the same height. Do you see? It's all about the same height because Seragam. This one is skewed to the left. In Malay, we call penchong kakiri. So this one, you can see a long tail at the right hand side. So you have a uh, quite low here, histogram. But then here is higher like this. Okay, this one is kakiri. Kiri dekat sini kan? Dan kanan, on the other side, the tail at here. So you have the histogram like this lah. Okay, ini is pen chong ke kanan. Okay, this one will be the long chain, suragam, kiri, kanan. We see the tail. Okay, so satu maka saja. Dalam ini, okay, selepas you draw out, you see which pattern lah. This one no need to be exactly the same, but they must be similar height. The frequency must be similar. Okay, but I want to teach you this one, tempat maka, standard deviation. Still remember the formula? Fx squared over sum of f minus mean. Mean mere formula, sum of fx over sum of f kan? So I will insert the formula. Okay, bagi sisi ampia y, standard deviation. So, we need to find multiple things. First, tak ada X dekat sini. Apa nilai X? Midpoint. X adalah titik tengah. Ini tambah ini bagi dua. Okay. So, 17. Ini tambah ini bagi dua. 22. Then you can see the gap is 5 ready, right? They will keep on tambah 5, tambah 5, tambah 5, tambah 5. So, I can do very fast. Which is 27, 32, 37, 42, 47. Dia punya pattern mesti sama punya, if they are histogram. Or you can tambah lah, ini tambah, ini bagi dua. So, tapat X, ini adalah frekuensi, ini adalah F. Semua tambah tadi, 30. Then kita kena ada 
fx. Apa maksud fx? Frekuensi kekerapan darab midpoint, right? Frekuensi multiply midpoint. Ini adalah x. This is f, right? Multiply them. So I will just multiply here real fast, lah. So 17 minus 1, easy. Uh, multiply 2, 44. Multiply 3, 81. Multiply 5, 160. Multiply 7, 259. Multiply 294. Last one? 235. Okay. You can see we already done fx. Do you see fx here? fx. But you have this sign. Upper symbol ini? Sum. Kena tambah semua fx. Cos sum of fx. So kena tambah semua fx. So 17 tambah 44 plus 81 plus 160 plus 259 plus 294 plus 235 so 1090 okay so we set up the top one now fx square macam mana tapa fx square you will need to take fx multiply the x again right so this number multiply this number this number multiply this number this number multiply this number you get it you will get very big number normally so i just show you the one example uh, so that you know what's going on here 44 times 22 968 81 times 27 2187 Five one two zero. Sometimes they get up to five to six digits. One two three four eight. One one zero four five. Then tamba semua dia. You going to add all of them, and then you get a number here. Then now you have everything for the formula. You see? This formula one, sum of fx square. Tambah ini semua. Bahagi, sum of x. Tambah x. Tiga puluh kan tadi? Tolak. Sum of fx, tambah ini semua. Bahagi, tiga puluh kan? Kuasa dua. Then we siap. Format. Type calculator ni. And if you are using this one, actually you can check the answer lah. But I believe some students are not using this model, right? Then it's fine. This model actually can tell you the answer for standard deviation. But yeah, I believe online got a lot of tutorial. Yeah, you can check it out. So remember about this table. It's very easy. X titik tengah bagi interval ini, or we call mid interval. Frequency, add all the frequency. Then X multiply frequency get fx. Multiply them, type the calculator, multiply. After you get the fx, take the fx, multiply x again. Get fx square. Add all of them. Okay? So this format is not too hard because um, not a lot of difficult formula to fill in. Just one of it. Alright, um, this one, what we have? Oh, okay. So you have this table. They always tell you total frequency. 90 blue orang per setter. You have 90 pa participants. Mean at all of them will be 90. So sum of F I have already, 90. So they give her this one. Okay, come. It's easy. Upper boundary, sembana atas. Tambah. 0.5. But not all the time you plus 0 0.5. Huh? The correct way of doing this one is take this value plus the previous lower boundary divide 2. Ini tambah ini bagi 2. Why? So
So, but if I want to trap you, right, I can do like this. 49.0, this one I change. I say this is uh, 49.1. Do you see? This is 49.0, this is 49.1. And then you tamba, you add 0 0.5, you got the thing wrong. Always is upper bound plus lower bound divided by 2. This value plus this value divided by 2. But SBM most of the time, plus and minus 0 0.5 only. Lah. They will not trap you like this. But if you go to higher level, right, statistics is a one of the very important topics in university. So, yeah. So let's do it. Plus 0 0.5, uh, 49.5, 54.5, 59.5, 60, 59 and so on. I'm going to do really fast. Lah. Cumulative frequency, tambah lah. Ini, tambah ini. The first one is zero. Next one is this number plus this one, five. This number plus this one, 19. 19 plus this one, 38. 38 plus 23, 61. 61 plus this, this one, 76, uh, 77, sorry. This one plus this one. So do you get 90? Yes, nice. Then they want you to draw ogive. Okay, for ogive, just now I say, what we put for x, that's it. We put the upper boundary, kan? Sambana atas. So, you, you see your coordinate like, like this, huh? This is your X coordinate, your Y coordinate. So it's 49.5 cosong. This is your X coordinate, this is your Y coordinate. 54.55. Do you see? It's your coordinate. Then you plot the coordinate. You got it? Then you draw your graph accordingly. So this one will be uh, cumulative frequency. This one will be upper boundary. Then you just plot, plot, plot. Plot, plot, and then you just connect them freehand, you will get this one. Because it's cumulative, this one cannot turn down. Huh? Because some students will draw this one coming down. No. Frequency, keep on add one. So it will never come down. So you add to the 90 will be maximum. Lah. You will stop at 90. Done. Okay, so you guys should know how to plot, right? Need to follow the skill given also. Two centimeters to five minutes. So you can see the gap here. Is it five? Ini tola ini tapat lima kan? Ini tola ini tapat lima kan? So the skill on the x axis, you write this one is correct. So but the distance between them is five. Okay? Yeah, I don't have graph paper. If not, I can show you. I think they draw for us. No, it's not the same. Do you see? This is 5. I know this is 10 in this case. This is another question. Uh. Never mind. I want to say these two things. Upper adalah julat andala quarter or interquarter range. What's that? Yes. Third quarter, Q tiga, tolak Q satu. Macam mana get third quarter? Quarter ketiga. Yes. So it be 75% of your total frequency. 75% of the total frequency. Just now frequency is 90, right? What is the 75% of 90? Type the calculator. Or 3 over 4. Some students say 3 over 4 is the same thing. So 0 0.75 multiply 90. 67.5 So you need to from this graph look for 67.5 and then you drew it you will get one answer here this is the answer for Q3 Do you see that? How do I get 67.5? I take 3 over 4 multiply total frequency Then how about Q1? This is 75%, this one will be 25% or 1 over 4. Darab total frequency. So 
90 bagi dengan 4 22.5 yes, So you look for 22.5 here You touch the curve, you get Q1 Don't make this mistake uh, because I got a lot of students They will write like this Sir, this one is 67.5 minus 22.5 We are not using this one to minus uh. This one is for us to find the frequency We want to find the x exit, the x value So don't do like this uh. This is wrong You will find 67.5 Touch the line, you see what is the x value. Then 22.5, touch the line, see what is the x value. Take this value minus this value, it's called interquartile range, or we call it Jula Antala Quartal. Cool? 35 percentile. Percentage, you know, right? This one means 35 percent of the total frequency. Just now you got 90, right? Multiply 35%. 90 darab 35%. This is the meaning of percentile. So you will get 31.5. And then from the graph here, find where is the 31.5. Oops. Uh, oh my god. Then you will draw. Then you will draw a line. You will touch here. Yeah, then you will get some value here. Lah. Okay, this is 35 percentile. So if they say 55 percentile, it's just 55 percent. Multiply the total frequency, then find from the graph. Okay, so Bob, they say use, use the ogive, right? Gonna use the graph to find. Huh? Don't use a calculator. Huh? All right. Oh my God. The time is out. Okay, this one is a bit hard for some students. Because why? They give, you a they give you a graph. They want you to form a table. So, this is upper boundary. Uh, sempadan atas. Tapi macam mana tukar kepada interval? Same logic. This one. This is the lower bound, right? So this one will minus 0 0.5. This one will plus 0 0.5. So you can see, if I minus 0 0.5, I get 49, right? This one I plus 0 0.5, I get 60, right? So they have for. Uh, is it the same graph? Ah? Oh, there's one unit. In, so uh, let me see this one. No, 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 no. I need to follow back this graph. They want to get 40. This is plus 0 0.5. This is minus 0 0.5. So the next one is 50 to 59. 60 to 69. 70 to 79 and so on. And this is cumulative frequency. Write down the cumulative frequency first, then we find the frequency. So in this question, they say 40, right? So we're trying to add all the number and get 40. Okay, let us finish this one together. Lah. 80 to 89, 90 to 99, 100 to 109. Okay, we copy down the cumulative frequency. The first one, first one is 2, right? This is 0, this is 2. The next one will be 7, isn't it? Will be 7. You guys know how to read, right? This one will be 16. This one will be 26. This one will be 37. This one will be 40. Alright. Then, change this one to frequency. Macam mana kita tolak? Ini tolak ini, tapat 3. Ini tolak ini, tapat 11. Ini tolak ini, tapat 10. 
Ini tolak ini dapat sembilan. Ini tolak ini dapat lima. Ini tolak ini dapat dua. Kosong. I try to add C. Is it forty or not? Tambah semua. Check. Is it empat puluh atau tidak? Yeah. Got correct. Done. Any part do you understand? Anyone do not know how to read the scale or not? Okay. Here you have 10 square here. Small, small square. You, 5, right? 5 divided by 10. So if you type 5 divided by 10, each one will be 0 0.5, right? So each small square is 0 0.5. 2 square is 1. You count like 1, 2. It's equals to 1. So like 4 square will be 2. 6 square will be 3, and so on. Okay, very depend. You divide 10, uh, basically. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that's right. Uh, it's not a very difficult thing. Then draw the histogram. If you want to draw the histogram, don't use this one. Uh. Use boundary. Find lower bound, find upper bound. Then only you draw the histogram. So you can see it's very easy format. Transformations. Yeah, here I got some note, la, but the note most likely in Malay I, I, or English, is it? Yeah, it's fine. Translation and reflection student normally got no problem. Yeah, I want to say about enlargement and rotation. Paper 2 fully describe tiga maka. Must have three information. You write the word enlargement one mark, skill factor one mark, center point one mark. Three mark. Same to rotation. You write the word rotation one mark, rotate clockwise or anti clockwise one mark, center point one mark. So, in paper 2, right, sometimes rotation center point is very hard to find, especially 90 degree. Don't give up that question, but at least you get two marks, right? You can guess they rotate uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise 90 degree. Then you give up the center point. But there's a way to find the center point later, I will say. Um, but this one, I also want you to memorize. In SBM, right, only have these four type of line. There, uh, it depends. It, H can be number, right? Like Y equals to four. The line is like this, y equals to 4, x exit, y exit, okay? x equals to k, like x equals to 5, example. Then x equals to 5. y equals to x, it looks like this. y equals to x. And y equals to negative x, another direction. Oops, must pass through the 0, 0. Yes, you only have vertical line, horizontal line, and y equals to x, and y equals to negative x. If sometimes very hard to sketch, you know the coordinate is 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, because y equals to x. This one, the coordinate will be something like 2, negative 2, 3, negative 3, 4, negative 3, uh, 4, negative 4, and so on. Then you can do this four line for reflection. Huh? Reflection, 2 mark. Write the word reflection one mark, write the line one mark. Translation also, write the word translation one mark, uh, column vector one mark, two mark. Okay? Okay, um, enlargement. K can be positive and negative. Here they give an example, it's quite good. I will explain about this example. Um, example. If this shapes like this, do you see the cent if this is a center point? Image at object and image is at one side, right? K is positive. Skew factor is positive here. If skew factor is negative, I show you another example. I will have something like this. 
Then this one, uh, maybe something like this. Do you see the center is at the middle? They are not at one side like just now, right? Just now, two object image at one side. This one is at the middle. Then this one skew factor is negative. So um, yeah, because in in the sentence you, you can try to read yourself. Yeah, pertentangan dengan pusat pembesaran. So is this one means actually they were at the middle lah. Okay. And this is what I say just now. If you got between one and negative one for skew factor, image is smaller than the object. The size of image is smaller than the object. Yeah, I hope I can see some question together with you. Okay, 180 uh, is the only one no need to ikut or lawan ara jam. Normally we don't say one. Because ikut jam 180 and lawan jam 180 is the same. So 180 no need to say. And if you want to find center point for 180, same with the enlargement. Enlargement, how to find center point? Connecting them. Example, you will connect them. They will always persilang dengan the center point. Do you see that? You connecting this point to the this point, and connecting this point to the this point, they will intersect at the center point. No need to think, take out the ruler, connect only. Even they are negative, you can do the same thing also. Yeah, I believe this maybe. My drawing is not perfect. I I I think I draw wrongly, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it, it should be flipped something like this. So let's say this one is the A, B, and C. Then maybe uh, this one is A prime, B prime, and C prime. So you will do the connect connecting thing also. Yeah, there should. Okay, this this one is so fail. Uh, there should touch also. Da, 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 da. This one, they, they should intersect also. Basically, use back the same method also. Use the ruler, connect image to the object. Even though they are negative. So for rotation 180, you can use this method. But for rotation 90 degree is very complicated. What is the time now? Okay. Um, oh, very hard to give example here, but I try my best. Okay, um, you need to find two perpendicular bisector line. Means these two you connecting them, and then you want to draw a perpendicular di bisector line. Ninety degree touch at the midpoint. You need to draw. Two of this, they're going to intersect. Decline. So that means you have another two point. Example lah. You got another two point here. You're going to connect them. And then you draw perpendicular bisector line. Ninety degree, touch the center. Do you see the intersect? This one is the center point. For rotation, ninety degree. You connect object and image, and then draw the middle line. This middle line must be 90 degree, must touch at the center. Then this one, you got object image, right? You're connecting them, draw another perpendicular bisector line, the intersection will be the center point. So yeah, this is what happened. But let's see some question before I go. Okay, this one, SR equals to 3SX. So, SR is 18. SX will be 6, right? Then they say what? Which one is the VWX SU? V, W, why got people <laughs> airdrop to me? V, 
it's an image. This one is an image. This one is an object. And we have the area for this one is 24. Yeah, apply the formula. What is the formula again? Image equals to skew factor square multiply object, right? Image is 24. Upper skew factor is higher. Ini bagi 18 bagi 6 ke 6 bagi 18. Image di atas. Object di bawah. Image adalah 6. Object 18. Ini objek kan? Objek punya panjang di bawah. Image di atas. Remember? So, this one is 1 over 3. Square. Multiply object. So 1 over 9, multiply object. So 24 multiply 9, area object. 216. A whole diagram, sorry. Whole diagram is uh, 216 plus the 216 plus 24, 240. So, but they, they want the whole diagram. So you need to remember, huh? image on the top, object at the bottom. Remember this formula also. Area, loss bagi image, darab, skew factor square, darab, equals to skew factor square, darab, loss bagi object. Is it some reminding things? Alright, this one. A, B, C, D yang mana image bagi sisi 4K di bawah gabungan transformasi putaran dan pembesaran. Okay. But does the question say rotate how many degree? No. Okay, then we need to guess. Rotate and become bigger. Which one? A, B, or C, or D? Why I cannot choose D? Because if you rotate this one, right? The long one should at this side, isn't it? So D is wrong. Yeah. Then we need to see this one, two, one. Then, if we must follow the scale one, you know. The one unit here become two unit. Then the two unit here need to become four. One, two, three, four, five. No. Because scale is not the same. Then we only left these two. But see, the shape is not the same. <laughs> let, let me think about B. Hey? Ah. Okay. But A, this is one unit, this is two unit. Right? One, two should become two and four, right? But this is two and five. I mean, the scale is not the same. Hey, is it D? <laughs> Which one? All, all wrong, eh? <laughs> Oh, enlargement can be negative, yes. Yeah, enlargement can be negative. Okay, then we see the scale, yes. Your enlargement can be negative, right? Okay, so if this is 1, become 4, then this one, 1, need to be 4 also, 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 need to become 8, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The, yeah, D. Okay, D you rotate, you cannot go. But then because you enlarge, can add a negative, it can rotate again. Okay, I think we almost time up. Let's test the last one. A is an image under B. This one is image. This one is an object. Find the coordinates of image of P 
under the same transformation. All right, this one seems like rotation 180, doesn't it? So we are trying to connecting them. This one connect to here. I use other color. Lah. This one connecting to here. So the center point is here. You can see, I connect the image and object. I got the cen center. Then this one will rotate. The same thing. So it's three, three. So I go three, three. So it's over here. This one is negative three, one. Answer is A. Because you from center to here is three unit, three unit, right? So three unit, three unit come down. Then you, you can get the answer. Okay, well, let's do <laughs> one more. Which one is image, which one is object? M is the image of M. So this is image, outside is object. So based on this one, want to find center point, connecting center to uh, point to point. So if I connecting like that, and I connecting like that, and I connecting like that, you can see the center is at the middle, right? Yeah. So this is the center point. Or oh, I circle it, this is the center point. So center will be 7, 9. Yeah, okay, this is wrong, this is wrong. Okay, then, which one? The skill factor is 2 or 1 over 2. Which one is bigger? Image is inside, right? Object is, image is becoming smaller because Less than one. So answer is B. But if you say, sir, I want you to use proper formula, can or not? Yes. Length of image divided by length of object. You can choose any one you like. Let's say I choose this one. One, two, three, four. This is one, two. It's image. Hey, which one is image again? <laughs> yeah, this, this is two. Two over four. So you get one over two. You can choose any side you want. Image on the top, object at the bottom. Cool. Yeah, I guess that's all. A lot of questions going on. Anyways, yeah, good luck for your SBI exam. So <laughs> I will see you guys around in my YouTube channel. Yeah, I have a lot of MF content if you want to. <laughs> so, yep, anything you want to ask me before I go? Okay, thank you so much, you guys. I, uh, no, don't go first. Huh? I need to pass back the MC.